Welcome to Monam Tech. In this video, I will explain an essential identification in the mobile industry called MZ. Let's get started. The MZ or International Mobile Subscriber Identity is a unique identifier assigned to every mobile subscriber in a serial network. It plays a vital role in identification user, ensuring access and service delivery and authentication for all mobile subscribers. The MZ is a 15-digit number and its structure is defined as follows. First three digit is called MCC or mobile uh, country code. This is identify the subscriber country. Second, MNC or mobile country code. This is from two to three digit identifies the specific mobile operator. Last, MSIN or mobile subscriber identification number. It's from nine to 10 digits identify the unique subscriber within the network. Let's take example. Now, if we are in Egypt and our MC, for example, 6020123456789. So that means MCC is 602. This is stands for Egypt. 02 that means it's Vodafone Egypt and MSIN it's unique subscriber ID in Vodafone Egypt network. So the question now is where is the MZ stored? So there are two sides to storing MZ, the user's SIM card and the network. The user's SIM card it can be the SIM card and the MZ is securely stored on the mobile device SIM or subscriber identity module. However, in the network side, there are different generation from 2G up to 5G, and this will be stored in the home network. And there are different naming for this home network or database for authentication and service management. For example, 2G and 3G, it called uh, home location register or HLR in 4G home subscriber server or HSS and in 5G will be UDM or unified data management. So, but why MZ is so important or why we need to protect MZ? Let's first to understand MZ function in the serial network. First of all, it's unique identification of the sub subscribers so it distinguishes each subscriber within the mobile network and across the globe second is network authentication when a device connected to a network the mz identifies the subscriber that means tells the network who you are and the triggered authentication that means Enable secure communication by verifying the device with the operator back end system and provide access that means it grant permission for calls, SMS, and data usage. Also, MC used to paling and charging. So the MZ is connected to paling accounts, ensure precise paling for services like calls, SMS, data, and facilitate cost sharing for roaming service between home and visiting. Uh, network during roaming, for example. Third is for roaming. MZ is used in the global roaming architecture, identifies a subscriber home network, and help uh, foreign network, for example, or visit network, route the traffic and the paling back to the home network. And the one of the most important uh, function of MZ is in the lawful interception. So for surveillance, the government and the law enforcement agencies use MZ to monitor specific subscriber for security purpose and to identify, locate the subscriber in real time, uh, real time when authorized, for example. So this is the five main function of uh, MZ. Now we need to understand the security consideration here, why MZ needs protection. There are three main reasons. First is tracking. So MZ, if exposed, 
the MZ can track the user uh, can track the user location by any criminal, for example. Second is eavesdropping, and attacker can intercept communication if they obtain the MZ. And there are different type of active uh, spoofing and eavesdropping and attacks in the SS7 domain in general. Third is identity theft, uh, like cloning and MZ enables the impersonation. Uh, of the subscriber, that means you can work as a, another person and can, for example, receive the OTP instead of the uh, subscriber. So here, the first step in SS7 attacks is usually to obtain the target's MZ. So this is the main target for all the attackers is to get some MZ or MZ of a target person to track him, to listen to every strobe for uh, active uh, and take uh, his, for example, credential and so on. But how will this happen? I will explain it in the upcoming episodes. So thank you and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.